Welcome back to Likras. This week's Parsha is Parsha Shlach. We are going to work on the sixth Aliyah, the beginning of the sixth Aliyah. We have five Sukkim today. We're starting in chapter 15, verse 17. In the Midbar. Vayedaber Hashem HaMoshe Leymar. First, Pasuk says, Hashem speaking to Moshe. Second, Daber Ben Yisrael Vamaytay Lem Bevoa Chem Alo Oetz Asher Anime Beyoschem Shama. Speak to Bnei Yisrael, tell them, Bevoachem, when you come to the land, Asher Anime Beyoschem Shama, that which I'm bringing you there, to that land. Vahaya Ba'achal Chem Elechem Oetz Tarim Batrum Al Hashem. When you eat from the bread of the land, the bread you get to eat is connected to the land. It's called the bread of the land. Then you have to give a truma, you have to give a portion to the Kohanim. Some charity. The beginning, the first of your dough is called chala. You have to give that just like you give from the produce of the wheat, so too you give from the bread itself. From the beginning of your dough, give to Hashem. End of that small parasha, the beginning of the sixth aliyah. What is unique here, Rashi points out, the word bevoachem, with your coming to the land. Normally, by the mitzvah, it's written in the future. You will come, you will come all, you will come, singular. And here, it's a different form. It's more present tense. With your coming to the land. So it's different. So what's the difference? Rashi says the difference is that this mitzvah of Chala starts as soon as you enter the land of Israel. And the other mitzvahs start... 14 years later, after the land is conquered and distributed to the tribes, this mitzvah is different. It's phrased different, and it has a different halacha. That's pshat. Near Eli al remes. The Mor Vashemesh wants to explain a remes on this same idea. What's it mean? Bevochem l'aret shetekev, keshadam maschil lichnos ba'aretz. When a person begins to enter the land, dehainu the kabbalah bo macho shamayim. When he wants to begin to be serving Hashem, shenikras macho shamayim eretz, kiyedua. This idea of serving Hashem is called Eretz sometimes. He says it's well known. Rezer Zechen, the first of your dough, perish the chachil of Eretz, when a person goes to go to sleep, Zel Eretz of Yisus Chaim, this is the first of your dough. Chala hu lashen tefila, lashen v'yachel Moshe. The word chala, interesting word, and the letters ches lam and that shorish, it could mean prayer. Canal, we find that one place in Chumash Mos, in Perek Lamed Beis. When a person does go to sleep, he should pray. He gives over his soul to Hashem. He quotes the Pasik. In your hand, Hashem, I deposit my soul. He should have in mind, so too, the rest of Klai Yisrael is also going to sleep. And they're also relying on Hashem. In order that the next day he'll be fresh and able to think again when the new day. And this idea is expressed further in the Zohar. With so, if this is his prayer, then he's uplifting his sleep. Because it also becomes holy and it works with his prayer. That's why it says it's like Gerin. This Pasuk says it's like the giving of. The wheat that one has to give to the coins. Well, perish garin whom yelashin garon he at filashu begaron. It means using the neck. The neck is the place where the prayer comes out of, the voice comes out of. So that's what's the, being hinted in this pasuk. And the pasuk says a second time, and the first of your dough, perish to take a bereishis to takuma miamita. This means when you get up, baboker baboker every morning, take up to spalo ba kol yisrael shu brihim. Now's the time to pray for the behalf of all the Jewish people, that they should be healthy, view them cold tuv, and everything good should be for them. The Rebbe Reb Zusha, this was his custom, as soon as he woke up every day, he would say, He would say, good morning for all the people of Israel, and blessings and prayers on their behalf. That's the end of what we quoted. That person has to give a truma to for all to Hashem for all the generations. Means on behalf of everyone in Israel, he's praying. That they should be lifted up over and above. That's the prayer to offer on behalf of all of Klai Yisrael, and that's the Ramas in Parshas Chala.
And he ends the prayer with the word Amen.